guys, now we're going to talk about how to use a thickness planer. This machine, this machine will take a piece of wood which is of irregular, uneven thickness and make it of uniform thickness and make it smooth. Remember, we're going through the list up on the wall. We're up to step number three, plane to thickness. Okay, so we want to plane it to uniform thickness and I'll, I'll show you how to do it and then I'll talk about safety with this machine. So when you put the piece of wood in, you've got to lower the table until it just barely goes in. And then if you raise it about one turn, it's probably about right. That's unless the wood is really thick at one end and thin at the other. But I see this piece is relatively uniform, so I'll turn it on. There is a roller, we're just going to grab it and pull it in. shavings like that because we'd have the vacuum turned on but I don't want that while I'm giving the demonstration. So now our piece of wood is of uniform thickness. It's done. Simple machine to use, isn't it? There is a very big hazard with this machine. You saw how that roller, I'm touching a roller right here that has got teeth on it, it grabs it and it pulls it in. Once that that roller grabs a piece of wood, nothing can stop it. Okay, well I shouldn't say nothing, but you sure couldn't. This is a huge motor on this machine. It's very powerful. If you are wearing clothing which somehow got caught in here between that roller and that piece of wood, you would be in serious trouble, okay? No loose clothing around this machine. Bad things can happen. And now I've got a true story of how I saved a kid's life. Now this happened about 30 or 40 years ago when I was a beginning teacher. We were in a different room than this, but we had a machine very similar to this one. And uh, we used to get our lumber from a sawmill back in the bush. It was all rough, it wasn't smooth at all. And at the beginning of the year, I would have my, my beginning students making their first project but then I get my returning students, the guys who are at a higher level, those students would plane a lot of my rough lumber. So I'd have two or three guys just feeding the, the boards in one after another, and then the guy taking it out would be stacking it. Well, this one particular day, I was just walking around the room looking at my grade 10 students working at their beginning projects while my veterans were planing, and I wandered over to the to the veterans, and the fellow who was standing here putting a board into the machine, he'd already been doing this for 15 minutes, just one board after another. So he picked up this piece of carpenter's string, okay? It's nylon rope that, they, that carpenters use for laying out building sites. Nobody could ever break that with their hands, okay? And he had a piece of it that was about five or six feet long, and he tied the two ends together. And then what was he gonna do with it? He didn't put it in his pocket. He'd hung it around his neck, and it was long enough to reach almost down to the floor. He was a kid. Why did he do that? I don't know. But as I walked over, watching them working, this he was talking and just feeding boards in one after another, and this piece of string was laying on top of a board which was going into the machine. Okay? If that string had gotten caught, and caught by this roller, he wouldn't have noticed until he felt a tug on the back of his neck. And by then it would have been too late. Maybe he would have tried to turn it off. On that machine, the switch was around here. But even after you turn it off, the machine keeps going for three or four feet. It would have been a slow motion string cutting through his neck. That probably would have been the end of my teaching career. But the point is, listen, watch out. The loose clothing around this machine is a big hazard. I'll, I'll cut again, I'll just raise it a, a little bit. Okay, by the way, one full revolution on this machine is one eighth of an inch. So usually about half an inch at a time is what you should take. But look, I'll turn it off and you'll see how it keeps going. <laughs> okay, don't get caught by this machine. Three phase, five horsepower, big motor, no amount of screaming can stop it. You couldn't pull yourself out if you get caught. Do not get caught in this machine. We're done talking about the thickness plane.